Hello. It's a Monday morning. Morning. I just got done. Francisco morning. I just got done with my little morning routine and my walk and I came inside and I was like, you know what? Today feels like a day I want to vlog. So that's what we're doing. Ken and I have a Zoom call in 15 minutes or so. So I'm going to wait to cook and I don't know even what this is going to entail, but I'm sure it'll be a good time. I'm doing two eggs with egg whites and typically Ken and I have that coconut yogurt, but we ran out, so I'm having the overnight oats from Trader Joe's. I did flax seed. Typically, I would do pumpkin seeds, and then instead of that, I did walnuts because you gals seed cycling, and I'm absolutely enjoying it. And then I'm gonna do some blueberries. You're seed cycling, actually. Yeah. Well, you have you. Ha it's really easy. You have pumpkin seeds and flax seeds in your follicular. I don't quote me, but I think it's your follicular phase. Follicular. Follicular through ovulation, and then I think. I know for your luteal, you do, um, you can do flax seed like throughout the whole entire time, but you switch to sesame seeds. And how do you know all this? Sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. And then I think you do sesame seeds and sunflower seeds while you're, like, while you have your period, like in your menstrual phase. I'm pretty sure. You might switch back to flax seed and pumpkin seed during your menstrual, but I need to double check, but I'll keep you guys updated. From the flow book. Tell them. So good, so fun. You guys, you learning about just like hormone health and like the female body and just how food can impact your overall hormones is, I don't know, it's honestly just so cool to like learn more about my internal health. I can give you guys kind of like a little bit more information in a future vlog. I feel like I'm being really put on the spot right now. Yeah, you're doing a good job though. Thank that you. was so good. Really? Yeah, look at Ken's toes too. Okay. are so cute. Okay. The, like, so cute. In my nails. Mm -hmm. Beyond, I love it. Oh, oh. And not even for muscle, like for overall hormonal health. I'm doing seed cycling, so I'm eating like certain seeds, like during like a certain phase of my like cycle. Good morning. Say hi to the vlog. Wait, wait, let me get a little bit more presentable. No, you look cute. cute. Party girl. This is how we do our Monday morning meetings with Helene. Does anybody get embarrassed these days? I'm embarrassed. This isn't even better, but I'm, well, at least I'm wearing. That's worse. Aren't she embarrassed? <laughs> Keeling's changing for the vlog. No, what you had on was so We're already cute. done vlogging. There's nothing else to put on here, Helene. Oh, okay. Do you want them to see your outfit? No, I was just gonna put a quarter zip on just to cover all the monstrosities here. She went from her cute beige to a t-shirt with a fucking quarter zip. <laughs> you looked, you looked cute. No, you look like your dad. Okay, so we also need to have a content day. Okay, this is not, I think this is, a, is, is this really an inklet? <laughs> it's called an inklet. <laughs> I got this from Brandy Melville, one size fits all. Sorry, we got this. Okay, we gotta go. My breakfast, I have two eggs, a little bit of egg whites, avocado, kiwi. Can I eat it with a skin on? Yeah, that's where the most like nutrients are. And then orange, blueberry, sauerkraut, and then some peppers. I got these from Trader Joe's. I've had these in the past, so I'm trying these on here. Yummy. Okay, I know I've been doing a lot of chatting this morning in the same little area, but here's my gym fit. Got a little strife for strength hoodie on. This we actually dropped months ago. And it's crazy because when this dropped, I was doing terribly mentally. And I didn't even want to do the shoot because it represented striving for strength. And I just felt so not strong then. So I was like, why am I going to be promoting something that I can't even do? It's just like even putting this on, I know this probably sounds like deep for wearing a freaking hoodie and also to acknowledge that it's okay to not be strong. You don't need to be strong all the time. It's okay to be weak and feeling like everything around you is crumbling. Like you are not meant to hold on to all of the pressure of that. That is okay. But wearing this to me now, I'm like, it just feels so good and so different. But we did do a little mini restock. You guys are the first to know, the YouTube fam. So just wanted to put that out there. I'm wearing a size large. I do like an oversized fit and black on black. So just, I love how it just like pairs like super nicely. And then it has just like these cute little 
detailing so we don't want to miss it on back here like says strife for strength here too but they're super cute and comfy and then i also am wearing the gymshark sweat leggings which i freaking love i'm pretty sure these are a size small they are a little bit snug because i am comfortably right now fitting into a size medium but they're just like the perfect staple black legging and they have these cute little details let me like come more in the light um along like the leg line like these like little tiny holes which are super cute they're like a very durable legging great for training great for running running errands slounging a lot around in them i probably wouldn't do just because they are more compression but they're super stretchy the waistband is nice it has like this um this seam that kind of goes down and then kind of like back up no seam up the middle which is nice people ask how we don't get cam and you guys people used to ask that when my body looked a lot different when I was just like overall smaller and like more muscular and I would get cam and I'd be like I feel like in the try and holes I try to not have cam so I would just like kind of pull it down but now I don't I feel like I don't pull my pants up as high like up my ass crack as I used to I mean I still do it's like I gotta have it up there a little bit the booty's gotta be looking juicy but not as much as I used to and I feel like that has been really helping with the cam and I also have been wearing underwear lately and I don't care if you can see it or not like I don't I, I'm not even wearing a seamless underwear right now which the sweat legging you don't really see a panty line anywho because it is a thicker material but okay I'm headed to the gym cheers I got my water here with my Celtic salt in there for the minerals and we're out the door I feel like this morning's vlog has been a little bit chaotic but we're on the move the energy is mellow just a little excited and we're off to the gym i will truly see you there Guys, that combo is so good. I'm doing gorilla row for four sets of 20, so 10 on each side. Really trying to keep my torso stationary and just pull with my arm. I'm using the arm that's on the ground to create more stability, and then I'm supersetting that with a reverse fly. So my whole posterior is activated on this one, like my lower back, I feel it a little bit, my glutes, and then definitely my rear delts and scapula. It feels so good. This gets me sweating. Starting with this is a really good one if you're training back. Just gets everything back there activated, but so good. I've always been a delt loving gal, so I'm finishing with cable side raises single arm for two sets of 15, and then that is a wrap. You guys, I'm listening to NF, the song called Hope. I've never heard it before it came up on my Spotify and I am so inspired. It is very dark, very heavy, and it's incredible.
Okay, so I did a bed of greens, just these mixed greens from Traders, and then I did leftover semen from last night, leftover veg from last night, rice, lentils. These guys are really good. I think you can get them at Whole Foods, but I get them at Mother's Market, and then topped with the bitchin sauce which is you guys if you haven't tried this this shit is unbelievable it's so good so that is my lunch okay i have to leave for class in about 10 minutes but i want to show you i've had this stuff sitting out for like an hour because i made food went to shower i had to shower but i also wanted to like do a little unbagging with you guys so some of this stuff is probably a little bit temperature but coco june ice cream ice cream Coco June pure coconut organic cultured coconut yogurt amazing for gut health this is the yogurt that we use in the morning and then I also got a few more flavors to try out so I got the strawberry rhubarb and vanilla chamomile cute oh my god vanilla chamomile speaking of strawberry rhubarb you guys for Thanksgiving Ken and I love to get the berry rhubarb pie from Whole Foods because it's so good and then I also got these Seagies Keelan made me a little yogurt parfait last week and this is what she used and these are higher in protein which is amazing so we actually don't typically eat dairy but these have dairy in them pasteurized skim milk and it didn't hurt my stomach and I didn't really notice a breakout from them so I am going to see how those sit with me and yeah so we got some milk some dressings to use, Primal Kitchen, amazing. These are still cold, so that's good. Hard boiled eggs, some wild sardines and extra virgin olive oil, lightly smoked, and then somebody in my class recommended this to me also. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm actually gonna try this right now. That sounds so refreshing and so good. Peach nectarine. Oh yeah, baby. Now this is all fucking dirty, oh my gosh. Okay, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, fine. That is good. The flavor isn't super strong, which is nice. And then I bought some sauerkraut. Amazing for gut health and really yummy to add to your dishes. That is bag number one. And then I bought some organic pasture-raised eggs. Or Trader Joe's here, the one that I go to, only lets me get one thing of eggs. The one that Ken goes to, she can get more than one. So I got a bigger thing at Mother's today. And then some more sardines. Cute kitchen. These crackers, you guys, are really good and amazing ingredients. Okay, and then our girl Ash put us on. She brought this over for our birthday with some other treats. It's so good for like a little sweet tooth and the ingredients are really good. And then these I've had before, but it was just really nice to have some sweeter things as options in the fridge, which looking back, I'd be like, I can't have anything sweet in my house because if I have one little piece of it, I'm going to eat the whole dang thing. Not anymore. I'm at a place where I can have like one or two chunks and I'm good. Sweet tooth quench which is such a great feeling you guys can't even believe it and then i got some more sauerkraut i got this hot sauce i think i've tried this hot sauce before in another flavor a red or burgundy one and then raspberries and then some more rx bars these are really good just as a snack but okay that's it i'm gonna put this stuff away Also, I cat am not seed cycling. I just do whatever seeds I'm failing for that day. I have been doing the flax seed every day. And then I've been doing the sunflower seed every day. And then the honey. And okay, not every day, every time I have it, okay? Ken's the little professional here. So I haven't read that book yet, but she raves about it. So we're incorporating all the seeds, okay? Okay, here is my dinner. It's a little bit late. It's 10, was it 10.47? Yeah. 
I just got home from class like 20 minutes ago. So this is my dinner, bed of greens, one whole thing of mushroom, rice, chicken, and then avocado and the green goddess dressing. <laughs> My, your face washes in my tub if you want to grab it. Say goodnight to your vlog. Goodnight vlog. I don't have my teeth in. Big smile. Oh my god, so cute. I had to use Kenny's face wash because I ran out of mine. I was using the Josie Moran one. But we're gonna go through my nighttime routine again. It's like the same as the morning. This stuff, you guys, is so good. I get it at Mother or um, Whole Foods. Ken actually got it for me, but my older sister, Chrissy, she got it for me for Christmas, and I freaking love it. It is all so good. Little toner. This just smells so on too. I love going to bed with my face just like drenched, just like super hydrated. Oh, uh, I'll do it in the morning. I wanted to use these. My friend Ash actually has her own skincare line now and she's gonna be coming out with something just like this. So I'm excited to try those out when they drop. This is a nice cinema dewdrops. I also haven't been using a vitamin C serum, you guys. So Kayleen had this and she didn't like it. So I used this a while ago and I actually liked it. I might try it again. I feel like it did make me break out. So maybe because it's too strong. I don't know. I want to like Drunk Elephant. So what are your guys' experiences? I've heard pros and cons actually, so drop the truth bombs down below. I'm using the Ordinary Lactic Acid. I don't know if I was supposed to put this on before that other stuff or what, but here we are. My skin does feel way more sensitive to the sun after I use that though, so I need to be very adamant about my sunscreen reapplication and then also wearing a hat in the sun and glasses because even like if I'm like at the beach or something laying out, I wear a hat, but I still feel like my face gets burnt because I feel like it's like reflecting off the sand and the sun is hitting my face and then I get burnt right here and I'm like, how do I, how do I fix that? I guess that would just be to wear big glasses and reapply sunscreen, which I have been. I have a spray one that I keep in the car and then this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask by Youth of the People. This is like a super yummy consistency. So good. I'll do this a few times a week. Uh, I've been doing it like once a week. But I feel like two or three times would be ideal. Or can you do this every night? I think this is like the sample. Also, if you guys have any hydrating face masks, let a sister know. That would be amazing. I'm here for the hydration. Also, okay, one more recommendation, you guys, please. Not just for the interaction, genuinely. I was using this and the translucent one, and I liked it. And then this is the colored one, the tinted one. And when I put my makeup on, it, like, pills. Like, my product starts to pill. And I think it's because of that sunscreen. No, because I haven't really changed anything else. Okay, so that's the face mask. And then, actually I don't like doing a wet mask until after I brush my teeth, but just for the sake of the video, because I'm not gonna leave you guys sitting here while I brush my teeth. I've been using the Laneige, the one that I got, you guys saw it in the last video. And put that on like that, like so, like that, like so, like that, mm-hmm. So good, truly the best. And then, you guys will be so proud because I have been doing my lash serum. I haven't had any issues with this yet. Like my eyes aren't red in the morning. I did get it in my eyes the first time I used it and it did sting, but obviously. I've been trying to be very adamant about this. I haven't noticed a difference yet, but it's only been like two weeks. So, we shall see. And then I'm gonna floss her up. I've been off of my flossing game for like three freaking weeks because I kept forgetting to grab 
floss ticks at the store and Ken got me some yesterday. So we're back to it. Which is always a good feeling. I mean I guess I will just take you guys through. I did this this morning because my allergies are they're having a little party up there. A nasal rinse thing and you do these little packet, packets you put in here and I filled this with tap water and you guys went crazy on the stories saying that I need to be using filtered water or boiled water or distilled water and I could get an infection in my brain if the bacteria goes up into my sinuses and I damn near had a panic attack. Just kidding, I didn't. I didn't really freak out all that much because I was like, mm. I'm sure it could happen, but what are the odds? But I will be using filtered water from here on out because I am not taking that risk. My goodness, that sounds very scary. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then get into bed and read. And I took my magnesium, you guys. I've been taking magnesium glycinate at night. If you guys have trouble sleeping, I would definitely recommend taking magnesium glycinate because I feel like I get home late from class and I get home and like even if I'm tired in class I get home and I'm like stimulated so I have a difficult time winding down so I try to dim all the lights like I I'll, if I'm hungry I'll cook my dinner lights dim this is like a brighter light I would like to like have like a little candle in here or something because my room is dim and then I read and it's been like 40 minutes since I've taken the magnesium glycinate and I'll read like a few pages of my book which can be a bummer because the book that I'm reading Nightingale is so freaking good you guys if you're looking for that book recommendation Nightingale is so good I'm like two-thirds of the of the way done and I feel it hit me like legit and I'm like okay I can go like one more page and like I just feel my I have to like shut my book put my book down and I just like and I wake up feeling so rested. It's truly been so helpful. Did my makeup and I'm listening it. to Mel cool? Robbins. You guys, this podcast of hers is so good. It is the easy steps to make your home and your mind clutter. Sorry, this is going super slow. Clutter free with Dana White. And it's so freaking good. I highly recommend because I was a very, like getting stuff sent to us is something that we would have a little bit of trouble with in the past just by saying like yes to a lot of things which i'm very grateful to have the opportunity to accept things and gifts and stuff but we did have a lot of clutter like at our old place so just being more organized and being better about overall clutter is something that i am actively working towards so this highly recommend this is my brekkie and then Kayleen brought me a little matcha. So yummy. Can I have some of your matcha? Yeah. Hey, this was mine. <laughs> so rude. I know, but you guys already have one. I haven't had one this lot morning. Today. I already chugged it. I might have to go get a you matcha. See this block? Huh? You see that shit? I guess we'll just leave it here and pick it. I can wish I could move it around like there. Yeah. So they can see. I mean, maybe you can just even vlog a little bit of what I'm doing. We got the whole gang here. Good. 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 Say hello. Squad. Hello. How art thou? How art thou? Hello. Oh. Did you tell them what we're doing? How art? No. No, no, no. No, no. We're just getting ready. You know, no, something light. Like. You give the down low on what you're putting account. Like, we is. It's yours stuff. What is that? Ween did her makeup today and she asked oh, me how the foundation looks and it looks really good. Show them. Okay. <laughs> Flip this up. <laughs> uh, can you even tell? You yeah, can't you even can't. tell. Go by oh, the window. So good. The window. You Here, can bring this with you. Take the camera. Oh god. You can't tell. Never mind. Just tell them though, because it looks like very skin like. Yeah. Okay. So I was telling Kat, I got this brand. It's I think it's Sai. I don't want to say it wrong. S A I E. Okay, we'll link it down below. We'll, we'll link. <laughs> <laughs> down below but I went to Sephora and 
it yeah. literally goes on like skin and it's like super dewy. I'm really happy with it. I want to get some of that. Yeah, I think I'm, it's like perfect for just like every day. Look, it looks like skincare. It really does. Yeah. So I've been super using happy. I've been using this one, you guys, and the Dr. Jart. I mix the light and the medium shade, but I would prefer. <laughs> yeah, I would honestly. Is so this funny. is this is like a. It's I liked Dr. it because I feel like my skin's getting better, but I feel like I did have a lot of scarring like on my jawline. So this I feel like was a little bit more full coverage, but I think I can do like a little bit lighter of a foundation. Oh, a Dr. Shirt. <laughs> Dr. Dart. <laughs> when are you putting on her? I'm doing a little bit more concealer here. We're going kind of full glammy yeah, for we're what we're doing. I have this. Ken wanted to get a little sample because she liked it when she was using mine. Because, you know, sometimes we sneak in each other's bathrooms and uh, borrow stuff. Do you do that? The, like concealer and bronzer and then you put foundation over yeah, it? Yeah, okay. So I saw. I saw that too I recently. Saw, I don't know if you guys know this. Her name's Adeline. I don't know what her last name is, but I saw on her TikTok she was doing like Hailey Bieber's foundation makeup routine that her makeup artist does, and she does skincare, and then she'll do concealer first, and then I did like a little bit heavier just because I wanted to be like super full. I'll have yours. Yeah, I'll do yours like mine. So what well, she you do? I like mine. Um, I like this one. <laughs> I've used this one. It's not enough. Like, okay, we'll try. I, I, and then I she'll, like, do you put it on like this or do you do the brush? I typically do the brush, but you can paint it. Okay. And then oh, I don't, God. I don't know if she does like this directly on it or like on the brush. And then some here. And right. on my eyelids. The top of the lip too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back, I feel me. like this just little makeup little situation could be its own vlog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you wheezing? I'm Are we so wheezing? embarrassed for everybody right now? Uh, Cat, move your hand. We gotta get that. The okay. what? Close and per up close. Up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm just. See, this is not. I gotta use. Okay, I gotta use. Use. This. I feel like this is good if you for want everyday something makeup, more like, sheer. But like, yeah. Bitch, we're going. Full glam in this batch. But can, can you I hold your I feel right like arm out? This is gonna be like a 40 minute vlog because I wanna take them with me through my whole week. It's only Who been cares? not even 24 hours. Who cares? <laughs> the, the longer the better. Not necessarily. Let us no. know what you guys think. I feel like I could be vlogging every day, but I need to pace myself here because I'm just really excited. What does this really remind good. you of? Like me doing this and vlogging. I mean, when we did it in the bathroom at our old the place. Yeah. We, when, we, when we would like shoot with Sav. Yeah. Oh, that was so fun. I know. On like Saturday mornings. Oh my god. That's okay, now good. we're doing Charlotte Tilbury and Rare Beauty. Oh bro, this is a workout for my arm. You got it, I believe in you. So I do a little bit of that. Okay, so what she did and the what she put it on her hand, mixed it and then dabbed it and then like put it on, but I just do Let me see what flip the it flip probably the, isn't the most like sanitary to do this way, but this oh, that's a good I, angle. That's how I do this. Like this looks so good already. And then okay, so I, I start mm. on the lower like this and dab like this and I'm using a bigger foundation brush. I'm no makeup artist here, but I do enjoy doing makeup. I feel like I always actually have. Mm -hmm. And then I bring it up to like where the concealer and the bronzer kind of meets and then I go, I just kind of work it in. Like lightly, the brush is like honestly a little bit dirty really so I'm not like rubbing. I need to get like, I need to get a brush cleaner because I haven't washed these things in. I've you know never watched it. <laughs> you had it for like two years. <laughs> you know what I bought, which is super nice? It's like a daily brush cleaner. You just spray it on a towel and then you rub the brush off. I need to get that. Thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> the battery's gonna die. Right? Okay. Sometimes I feel like we're being too much and then I'm like, no, we're not. Like, we're just, I don't know. It's so we're funny. We're just having fun. I know, I love it so much. I'm just embracing it and not taking shit so seriously, y'all, because life ain't. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be that serious. Okay, we're supposed to be little goobers because that's how we wear our heart. Okay. I also feel like. Oh. Oh, never mind. What? I feel like you also are like super happy because everything you feel you everything and you're like genuinely in a good place, so it makes you even more excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did the powder and then you're doing blush on top of the powder? Uh, I didn't do that for mine. I did. I did powder my under eye and then I did the blush and then I did bronzer powder and then I did powder over top, but. It, well, I mean, it's, it's okay. I feel like it's still it's gonna look the same. But I did hear that you're not supposed to do cream over powder, but here we are. 
and it still looks fine. Mm -hmm. A little on the nose, some of the chinny chinny eyelids a little bit. I don't do anything crazy typically with my eyeshadow. I do like to keep it super natural and then I kind of want to start messing around with like a brown eyeliner. Oh my gosh, dude, this looks so good. You like it? Yeah. Did you do bronzer on my eyes? No, but I will. And then I'm doing a little, I'm just using this little brushy and going down like the bridge of the nose on each side here and then under and then I do eyelids. I always thought this brush was uh, kind of, um, like hay, kind of rough. Yeah. Well, it is, not that I used to it, it's kind of like rougher, but I feel like it's, it really puts the product where you want it. Dude, done. No, we do not need to. Oh more. my god, dude! What? Y'all wondering where we are? We're at Dover Park next. No, Mariners Park next to Mothers. You guys are in the Orange County area. This park is seriously so good for photos. This next, I think I'm gonna grab a pleat too from the bar. I'm gonna see what they have. Headphones just hit different. It's a two car bounty. You guys, I'm just having a solo little vibe before I head to class, but I grabbed food from Whole Foods, chilled for like an hour, and then Ken and I had a call with a friend who we hadn't talked to in a really long time. His name is Nick, and we are gonna be doing something super freaking cool. And Ken and I are both very honored to be a part of something he has invited us to. We will keep you guys posted with more info, but I just feel so good about it and it's super exciting. But I stopped at Coffee Dose, I grabbed myself a little tea. I have about 20 more minutes before I need to head to class. So that is what we're doing now. The weather's super nice out. It's like a little bit breezy, some clouds in the sky. It's just another day, you know what I'm saying? How are you guys doing? I wanna hear how you guys are doing. How is your day going? Are you guys doing okay? Are you not doing okay? Tell me what's going on because I want to know, okay? Good morning. It's the next day. It's like 7, 7, 10 or something. I woke up at like 6, 11 and I opened my blinds and I was like, I need to go back to bed. So I went back to bed for an hour and now I'm up. Okay. I just got done showering. I finished with a cold shower and it felt so good. I don't typically shower in the mornings. I usually just shower at night, but I had Tanner on and I'm gonna be playing pickleball around noon. Ken and I are going to meet up with Renna and we're doing a little food cooking reel. I think she said for her YouTube, so I'm super excited for that. We're gonna wear mics and it's just gonna be fucking hilarious, but I was doing cold showers more consistently than I do now, probably like a month ago, I would do them like two to three times a week. I would just like finish with the cold shower, but I feel like my shower doesn't get cold enough. I have it all the way down, so I feel like I'm ready to take it up and watch and like get into a cold tub. So I guess that's kind of something to look forward to, but my heart is like erasing from that. And also regarding, cause in this video I did show um, the sauna and then I also just did a cold shower. So, those two things, along with working out too, those two things are like acute stresses, which is called a hormetic stress, which is acute stress that your body is able to recover from. And it actually boosts your immune system, is just really good for you, and makes you more, makes your body more durable, stronger. And if stressful things are happening in your life, typically, People in the US for sure are like chronically stressed all the time. Not good, can literally kill you. Not to overwhelm you, but like we're always so go, go, go and chasing the next thing that we're like just constantly stressed out and it is not good for you. Trust me, I have experience there. 
if you guys I maybe I'll make a video just for like what has helped me with like overall stress and like not being overwhelmed by the littlest things and like all of that but you want to go in and out of stress you don't want to constantly be stressed out so that is the cool thing with like working out heat therapy I mean even eating is like a acute stress on your body like basically like rest and digest like eat rest and digest so that's just super cool so i've been trying to incorporate that more regarding red light i have also been doing red light ken has like a juve thing i'll have to make a whole nother video but um okay i'm gonna get ready for the day okay i already told you guys we're gonna be going to play pickle schnickle so my thing of water here i'm gonna be putting Versily, which is amazing for hydration, antioxidants. It has like magnesium, calcium, a little bit of sodium. And then it also has ter cherry extract in there, which is like really good for inflammation. The flavor is citrus splash. The flavor isn't like super strong. It's like more of a refreshing, like lighter refreshing flavor. And then true creatine. I try to take true creatine every single day. This would be great to take every day too, but I sometimes forget but doing one scoop of true creatine and then i take for overall health brain function recovery strength i feel like true creatine has kind of blown up in the past like year or so because of like tiktok and stuff i've been taking this for i don't know probably like five years now four to five years i don't cycle off of it i take it whenever i remember during the day and that's just what i do I don't, I don't try to be super strict with the time. I do work out typically around the same time in the mornings, but my days just they ebb and flow from day to day. So I just try to take it when I remember, but I have this in here. So we got my hydration and then I got my I'm bringing some snacks for me and Kenny, some RX bars, and then maybe we'll all like get lunch or something after. That would be fun. I don't know, but I'm excited to play pickleball. I'm gonna be playing with Ash, Ren, Callie, and Nikki, who we haven't met yet. So it's gonna be so fun, just a little mm -hmm. Midweek, it's a Wednesday. Your girl's been active and just ready for all the adventure and to meet all the new people and just to like have fun, which, oh, you guys, it feels so good. I feel like I've never, I mean, even before going through everything, like I was a social person, but like even before that, I feel like I wasn't as this social or just like open to, I was open to doing new things, but like meet, meeting new people would give me anxiety. Sometimes, depending on the vibe, you know what I mean? But I definitely would have some social anxiety, but now I'm like, I feel like I'm just like chilling. Like I'm just like in my little bubble. I don't know. Okay. Enough ramble out of raspberry on the loose. On the loosey goosey moosey. Can you see us, you guys? We had a meeting this morning. We're gonna take it in the car. The bitch got canceled. The bitch got canceled. <laughs> so, uh, well, I wouldn't really care if we had it, but I'm like down to not have a call right now. We're supposed to be at Rents at what time? 9 30? Or does it matter? She said like around 9 45. Oh shit. So we'll be early. We can walk around a little bit or take a nap. I had so much energy yesterday. Oh my god. And I feel like I'm like paying attention to just kind of like where I'm at in my cycle. And like you guys heard me, uh, whatever. I'm in like my follicular phase, so I just stop my whatever. Hormonal girl. <laughs> it's really cool though. I know. It's, it like, is. it's cool to just be like in tune and like realize, okay, like this is part of the reason why I do have so much energy. That um, is it's because cool. my like estrogen and. Um, Put it out from? No, not progesterone. And progesterone testosterone. and testosterone. Testosterone are like rising, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I went to the gym yesterday and I was like, I have so much energy. I trained back, but before I trained back, I ran two miles just on like, whatever. My pace was around like 9.45 to turned. 10 minutes. And typically I would not run before training just because I like want to reserve my energy, but I still had so much energy to train and I felt so strong and wow. I was able to like really focus, but I got home last night and I swear I could not like want, I, I still had so much energy. Kat was coming home from class and she's like, I have so much energy. I'm going to come home and I'm going to, going to run two miles. I was like, dude, I'll join you on the bike. Like I have to like release some of this what's going on here i didn't do that because i know i needed to wind down i would have been too amped if too i did that tired. and when, once i got home i was like mm, not really feeling it yeah but anyway i ended up going to bed at like 1 30 because i just could not wind down i had to put on like a i had to put on the sound rain on my breathe app that i feel like helped me relax a little bit i just had my 
Seagies yogurt and two part gold eggs for on the go because I wasn't hungry like this morning, but. That's what we're doing. That's a little morning. I think this will be good. I think, should I just put the audio? Tucker, hi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this little one. He's so cute, his little floppy ears. Hi. Hi. Hey, you guys, so. Maple syrup. That might work. That might even be better. Should I pour it on top? Yeah, yeah just a little drizzle. Hey, you guys, Ken, are, Ken and I are over here. Dying of allergies. Tucker boy is just it's so to be sweet and he just but he's not. <laughs> wants to jump on us. He's just so cute. We're doing <laughs> like a reacting <laughs> like an old lady. Like it does not look like good. You know what? Hey, no. What we can do? We'll give him an honest review and then we can tweak it next time. Yeah. We can like mess like with it. This is her first YouTube video. Wow. Ren, what's your channel? I think it's just Rendresia. Rendresia. Like the same as my Instagram handle. We'll put it Renny on Benny. Benny. Go give the girl a mother f subby. Okay. Bro, hey. Tucker, come here. I, okay. I see you. Okay. Why is that? It's not um, focusing. focusing. The noise it's making is not okay. I kind of like it. You love me. Here, let's get the mic up in there, bro. ASMR. <laughs> Why is that? It's focusing on my hand. There you go. No? I was focusing on the mic. We gotta get mics. I know. Keeling order this so. Okay, it actually is looking <laughs> too shitty. I'm just worried about the amount of protein. You guys, Tucker got out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Tucker, bad boy. I mean, at least he did like something good. We were down, what were we down by? Five, it was like we were down four, five, four points. Five, five zero. points. Was yeah, it five zero? It was five zero. And we came back and we won. Are you surprised? No, didn't think so. <laughs> Fakies over here on the left. We got Nikki and Ken. Pits and ass, we got Ash and Ren. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Ken? What? Give me a shaky. Okay, good. Are you guys just getting home? Woo! I'm gonna chill, or I'm gonna chill for a little bit. And then I have class later on. So that's what's going on the rest of the day for me. I'm gonna close this video out. I feel like this was so fun, doing like a multiple day vlog with I'm you guys. I'm excited to see it, because I wasn't obviously with Kat the entire time, yeah. obviously. Like I came in through bits and parts, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, it, and you. see you soon.